Hello everybody. Today our, well today our is Wednesday and that's my Wednesday lives. So um, I will be taking questions if anybody has questions and I have will also go ahead and be talking a little bit about story pins. Um, I do this each week at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 2 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you will join me. So um, the first thing that I want to talk about is, do you know what idea pins are? Have you, uh, have you heard the rumor that Pinterest is wanting creators to create idea pins at least once a month? Spoil alert, Pinterest does want creators making idea pins once a month. But before you decide to quit using Pinterest or freak out, um, let me explain that it's definitely not a bad thing and it actually will help you and your marketing, not just on Pinterest, but also on Instagram. So today I'm gonna to be going over all the things about idea pins. I'm also gonna be answering any questions you may have and um, let's just jump right in. So first, an introduction. My name is Jen Vasquez. I am a marketing strategist who specializes in Pinterest and I help clients go from overwhelm with trying to do all the things marketing to streamlining a system that is tailored to them and how they like to work and what is most effective for them. I basically help them to unleash the power of marketing to actually grow their business. So I have a number of services from DIY, like my group coaching membership called Pinterest Strategy Academy. I also have a done for you Pinterest management and also a VIP day. So if you're interested, after hearing all this information, I'm super happy to help you. And I have my notes up here in case you see me looking up. Um, but this all started because I heard a rumor a few weeks ago um, on Clubhouse, actually, and um, also on Instagram and thought, this can't be true. <laughs> Pinterest is not wanting people to like make story pins once a month. That's just, that can't even be possible. Um, so I looked on the Pinterest creator email. Anybody who creates for Pinterest can actually sign up for that just as a heads up, not just Pinterest experts. And um, they, when you see something that Pinterest is actually communicating to you directly. So you're not hearing it from a Pinterest expert or you're not you know, seeing it online or hearing about it from maybe old information. But when you actually hear Pinterest saying something to you, believe it <laughs> because they're telling you what they want you to do. So um, you definitely wanna listen when they're talking about it. Well, it's true. Um, Pinterest is saying that creators should create one idea pen a month um, to be really to be a part of the creator community forum um, and with trainings and all that kind of stuff, signing up for the email. And and basically, even though they're saying that that's what they want you to do, sort of commit to to becoming a creator in their creator community, it's basically what they want anyone on Pinterest to do who is marketing. So with that new information, I went to all of my clients. Um, for the clients that I do their work as Pinterest management, I am creating a one Pinterest idea pin each month. Um, I, excuse me, each week for my clients because I don't want to just do once a month. I want to make sure that I'm really ramping them up. I also went over this with my students in my Pinterest um, Strategy Academy that we are creating them once a month. Um, and I did a full class in there, but I'm gonna sort of give you some highlights right here for free. Um, first of all, what are idea pens? because a lot of people are asking me, what the heck is an idea pin? Well, it's actually formally known as story pins. So um, they have changed the name to idea pins, which I think is a good idea because um, they're basically sharing an idea, either a DIY or a recipe or basically how to do something, right? So Idea Pens is a really good name. And um, in my group, when I'm helping them to create Idea Pens each week, um, it's 
all within a marketing strategy that I go over in my community. Um, but it's all about repurposing because we don't have time to be creating a ton of content everywhere. And most entrepreneurs are spending their time creating content on Instagram. So I want to make sure that anything that we're doing in Pinterest is also shareable on Instagram so that we can have dual purpose for it. And it makes sense that you're not having to create new content for Instagram because we're creating content for Pinterest and we can then use it on Instagram. Um, repurposing content is the most important thing that you can do um, if you want to be successful at both Pinterest and Instagram. My community, um, my membership um, members, my clients uh, in that membership academy actually only spend about an hour once or twice a week working on Pinterest and that's it and they're growing their Pinterest and they're growing their business by driving traffic to Instagram and their website. Um, so basically, instead of creating one idea pin a month, which is really what Pinterest is telling us, um, we are actually doing one idea pin a week. And then that idea pin is turning into a reel or it's turning into a story, depending on what you wanna do. It's great information that would be utilized by people on Pinterest, but also by people on Instagram. It's very, very good information. So if you guys have any questions, um, I don't even know if I can figure out how, I think I can figure out the question bar. If you could put the questions in the question, that would be great. I'm happy to answer at the end. Um, so here are some things to learn about idea pens, what they are, what the benefit of using them is, and mistakes that you don't wanna make. That's the important thing. So as I have already told you, um, it's called idea pens and they're basically empowering anyone with a business account to create inspiring content to better interact with their audience, building more engagement communities directly on Pinterest, right? Idea pens, formerly story pens, um, are, don't have a link on them. And in the beginning, even myself, I was like, why am I using a, a pin that has no link? The whole point of me marketing on Pinterest is to take me over to take people over to my website or to Instagram because I want to drive traffic there and be able to get clients. But what I found was just like on Instagram, when you're giving Instagram what they want, which is reels, um, you tend to get more engagement and growth and all kinds of stuff, right? So I found by giving idea pins to Pinterest that it's growing in a certain number of areas that I will go ahead and let you know about. Idea pins have been idea pins have been around for a couple of years in beta. They were formerly called story pins. And on May 18th in 2021, Pinterest told us that they are taking them out of beta and changing the name to idea pins, which of course makes sense. If you have a Pinterest business account, you can also use idea pins to record multiple videos, add images, lists, and custom text in a single pin. You can create idea pins via Pinterest, or you can do them in Canva if you want as well. Um, but they're super simple to do. Everyone thinks they're really hard. I find they're easier than reels myself, um, but they're basically getting across your point. And like other pins, idea pins will stay on your boards once you've published them. And once you've published them, the pin will be displayed on your business profile at the very top of your created tab. And then all of your pins will be underneath it. So they're literally rising to the top, right? <laughs> so you definitely want to be making them. Um, so why? Why should you make them? Well, they're easy to consume and people tend to take action on them. In fact, Pinterest's intent is for people to take action and inspire them with ideas presented. Pinterest designed it to have no link on the idea pin because they want to keep people and really build like a community on Pinterest and keep them on there. But what they do, because everybody on Pinterest is totally trained to click if they like something. And when they click, they actually go to your profile. 
which is great because then you can end up grow your following, right? And they get to see information about you and all the things that you can provide and all the information that you can help them with. Most people don't use idea pins because because they don't have a link, but when people actually click on them and everyone knows to click on Pinterest, it goes to your Pinterest profile. Then they can follow you or see more information about you. Um, how this happened or how this helps my clients, these types of pins help in three ways. First, it's brand awareness. And brand awareness is important even if you're a small entrepreneur business. Um, it gets your information out there and also with increased followers. And while followers is tend to look at a... It, People tend to look at it as a vanity metric. Um, it is one of the metrics by which the algorithm on Pinterest rates and shows your pins. So it is important to um, look at gaining your followers, but that's not the most important thing, but it is something to look at moving forward. But most importantly, what my clients have found is that higher there's a higher engagement on your whole whole print Pinterest profile, which signals to Pinterest that your information is valuable and all your content gets more love. So in my Pinterest Strategy Academy, a lot of uh, we went and all created idea pins together and posted them and all the analytics, all the analytics raised because they started using them. So and of course, for my Pinterest management clients as well. So that is a great opportunity to really make sure that Pinterest knows that you have valuable information and thus it wants to serve up your content to more people. And um, a couple things that you wanna make sure of that you don't do that people are making these mistakes on, Pinterest does not like if they see a logo or like a TikTok logo um, or your website um, and they tend to give only a few um, they, they don't so at in the beginning they weren't getting as many analytics but now as I've been working with clients and with my students of the academy we've noticed that there's been a slight decrease because in the beginning of course um, we put our website on the last sort of slide of that story. And the reason was because we wanted people to know how to find us and to get more information. Um, but what we found was those tend to get less analytics, less interaction. And so, because that's not the intent of an idea pen, right? Um, Pinterest is very smart. The algorithm is very smart. If you're not utilizing Pinterest in the way that it was intended to inspire people and get people to take action, then it, you're not going to get a great amount of stuff. So we definitely don't want to have any links on there and we don't want to have any um, logos on there as well. Um, and I personally, I, I I believe that you also don't want to put a link either in the little section, the comment section that you can put. Now, there is some disagreement across um, Pinterest experts, but what I find is if I stay true to what Pinterest is intending and what Pinterest wants, I get, I get far better analytics and far more growth for all of my clients than if I try to find a way around the algorithm, right? Same thing holds true to Instagram. I think the same thing is here. Um, but what I do say in the comment section of these story pins is um, follow along for more tips because then they'll typically click and then follow your account, which means they're going to get all of your pins and then they can click through to your website and thus you can start potentially getting some clients. Um, so the other thing is you don't want to spend a ton of time creating idea pins. Um, repurposing your existing content is great for this. So what I always start off with is if you have some fantastic reels on Instagram, you want to download them from Instagram and and upload them to a story pin because 
it's great information on Instagram and you know that it's doing well from the analytics and the numbers on there, you should be using it on Insta uh, Pinterest. And you're not creating new content that way, right? So what I talk about in my academy with all of my students is, you know, repurpose some of your stuff like your reels or really good stories that share people, share like what they do and how they do it. So you download the whole, like all the different stories and then you upload those into the different pages of a story pin um, because that's helpful and to do that maybe two times or three times a month and then create an actual idea pin once a month or twice a month in Pinterest and then download that and upload that and make a reel. It's a great way if you're, you know, Instagram wants more video. They've told us that, right? So what great opportunity is it than to use what we already have on Pinterest and to really cross promote between both of those platforms. Um, it is best to, you can share directly from Instagram, but that's not going to share into an idea pin. So you'll want to download that and then upload it to um, Pinterest. But you can also, which my clients are doing successfully, um, sharing directly from Instagram in the app on their phone, which I have a reel for that explains, and I think an IGTV too, that explains how to do that, um, directly onto Pinterest. It's something that I do when I'm doing my time on Instagram, where I'm liking and commenting and, and just looking through Instagram, doing all my stuff, right, on Instagram. Um, I will then go ahead and share some of my content over to Pinterest, right in that moment. You don't wanna do this every day, all day long. It will look spammy to Pinterest, but if you do it, you know, once a day or a couple times a week, that's a great thing to do as well. So, um, repurposing is, is, is key and it's very, very important. Now, I am having a free masterclass on idea pins where I'm gonna actually take everyone live and we're gonna go and create an idea pen live. So I'm gonna go over all the information, how they work, what the best practices are, and then we're gonna go cre create an idea pen live. So if you are interested in that, it is totally free. Just click the link in my bio. And now I'm going to come through and see if, oh, Kiana, thanks. I'm going to look through questions. I have a problem like talking and then looking at, at you guys down here. I'm so sorry. Let me see if there was any questions. All heart photo repurposing sounds great. Yay. I know it's the best. It is absolutely the best. Um, oh, Kiana, you're the best. I swear. All right, so hello, Corian. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in right away and I'll answer them. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and end this video and hopefully you sign up for the Pinterest um, idea pin or the, excuse me, the idea pin masterclass and um, I will go ahead and join you there. Good morning. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.